this tip took me forever to figure out. So if you're in my position and you have some assets in your project that you've imported either from the asset store or from another third party like a GitHub or something like that, this video might be for you. Here we have my car project. So I'm gonna grab this, uh, the car prefab that I have. This is just from the Unity standard assets. And it does have a few files that come with it. So what, what I wanna do, uh, if we select the car, what we can see is that it's got this car controller script that came with it. And within this car controller script, it's got a steer helper, traction control. It's got all these different uh, variables that are set over here on the side. Full torque over all wheels, reverse torque, downforce, stuff like that. The issue that I'm having is that I can't access these variables either in the flow graph. Uh, you can see here, this is the flow graph for this speedometer that I'm trying to get to work properly. So uh, more on that later. Um, so there are some variables by default that are there, but if I go to the flow graph, if I do a get steer helper, nothing comes up but I can get the speed of the car, right? So I can get the car speed and I can get the car max speed. So I figured out how to expose those variables either to Bolt or to another script. So if we go in the project window and find our car, here it is down here in the scripts folder. We know we wanna use the car controller script. I think I can find it. You can either double click on the script here and it will open up in your editor or you can click on the more options over here on the right and go down to edit script and then it will open up in your in your default editor. For me it's opening up in Visual Studio. Here's what we need to edit to expose these variables. These are all private serialized variables and what I've learned about this is that a serialized variable will show up in the Unity editor. So we've got car drive type and that's going to be right over here under car drive type. We've got four wheel drive front wheel drive or rear wheel drive with four wheel drive currently selected. Now the reason I don't want to create my own controller is because all of this math is already done so beautifully for us for all these variables. If you scroll down in this code you can see it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big file so far and it's got all of these variables already coded out to give us the right amount of torque and the physics is basically already set. So instead of having to do all of that again or copy it and paste it into a new script, uh, we can just make these variables move them from private to public. Let's just do it that way. So now it's a public variable. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Now you could do like a paste all, but I'm just going to make these public steer helper indeed. See, because the whole point of this game is to have all of these variables editable within the engine so that the player can make upgrades to their car. So I, I want the player to be able to uh, select a transmission, either manual or automatic, and I'm going to need to get the number of gears. If we look at the full torque over all wheels, that ends up getting set later in the code. And I want to be able to access these items. This is where I found some other ones that are that returns what has already been set. But I want to I want to be able to edit these from the client side. So let's make those changes, make these all public. Car drive type is going to give us an error, so I'm going to leave that for now. Oh boy. Okay, so we can make that private and we go back to our script, go back to our game engine. Now it's going to load up everything as it should be. So now we'll just use the flow graph as a quick example. If we right click, we still can't see full torque, okay, even though we saved and updated everybody. So we have to go in the tools menu, down to bolt, and down to update unit options. So now, all we have to do is type in full torque, and we can see we can both get and set this variable, which should increase our speed quite a bit. So if I wanted to, I could do an event. Um, I don't want to do this on the update. Let me just do this on the, on the start. Just to show you that it's working, uh, on when the event starts, we'll say, okay, update the full torque over all wheels to 500. And then once I play it, you can see this full torque over all wheels is going to go from 2,500 to 500. There it goes. So now we can see that I can access all of these variables that I needed to see 
right here in the in the event graph. So now I can increase the power of like the breaking. So if uh, if the player upgrades their breaking, or maybe there's a an in-game item I might add that will set that temporarily to like a million. I don't even know if that's a realistic number. But now I have all those options exposed to other scripts if I want to use them, or for me, I'm going to use Bolt for it. That's how you do it. That took me forever. Um, hopefully uh, this helps you. I tried to find one on YouTube and I couldn't. I'm also going to put this in a few other places. So um, hopefully you enjoy that. Thanks so much for watching. Stick around for more tips just like this one.